Today I'm going to share with you 10 YouTube Shorts hacks that you didn't know existed that are going to allow you to optimize your videos and scale your channel so much faster. You're not going to want to miss a single one of these. Now hold up though, if you have never created a YouTube Short, I recommend that you first go watch my YouTube Shorts Complete Guide so you understand the basics and then come back here so we can learn how to scale them next level. I've linked that video above and in the description box. What's up, it's Danny, your guide to authentic video. If you haven't yet, grab my Go Viral Video Guidebook and you can learn how to work with me by clicking up above or in the description box down below. Also, let me know in the comments, like, is the pleather working for me here or is it too much? I don't know, but I went with it. I, I kind of like crinkle when I move now. Okay. <laughs> Let's get into it. The first YouTube short hack that you need to know is that you can now create shorts from your longer videos. So it's time to work smarter and not harder. It's now easier than ever to repurpose your content. Here at Hey Danny J, me and my clients always love to be able to repurpose literally everything. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go on YouTube on your phone. You have to be on mobile. And then once you're in the app, you're going to click on the upper hand corner where you see your photo and click your channel. Then you can go to any one of your videos. We'll click on one of my videos. And then you can see there is a create button. Ooh, I'm gonna click that button. And then it'll give you the option. It'll say edit into a short. Boom, and you can see below, option is only available only to you, so other people can't do this with your videos. You can only do it with yours, so that's awesome. And then from there, you can choose if you want the clip to be, oh, let me turn this sound off. You can choose if you want the clip to be 60 seconds or 15 seconds, and then you can move it to where you want it to show up on the screen. Then you'll hit next and you're ready to upload your short. Now, remember, if you are wanting to use this feature, which I totally recommend, you are gonna wanna make sure you're filming your longer horizontal YouTube videos, like a little further back, right? Because you're gonna have to crop it vertical and these videos are horizontal, so it's gonna really cut you in. If I filmed super close, I would just be like, this part of my face. So try and move a little bit back now when you film your regular YouTube videos, if you do film them, so that you can repurpose them. Woo woo! The second YouTube short hack that you probably didn't know that you definitely wanna be doing is you should be optimizing your shorts on your desktop. You can upload your shorts either on your mobile app or on the desktop. I usually have the shorts on my phone, so I upload them on my phone, and then I head to my computer because on your computer, you can add a bunch more stuff that you cannot do on your phone. Mm. Let me show you how I optimize my video real quick. So I head to my channel and I click manage videos or you could just go to YouTube studio and make sure you're in content. And then I'm gonna find my video that's unlisted that I uploaded, that's the short, and I'll click this details pencil. Once I'm in there, I'm gonna add a description. Think of actual search terms that people would use that relate to the video and write them in. Then add your opt-in and how people can stay in touch with you many people forget this click this show more button if you don't see anything down below and it's gonna allow you to add tags and I highly recommend doing this we want to do everything we can to optimize our videos so again think of what are the actual search terms someone might type in that would relate to this YouTube short so for this short I'm gonna put it in camera confidence tips and any other tags that I find helpful because I have TubeBuddy it can also recommend some tags that it thinks relates to this video as well that I can use now the third YouTube short hack goes along with this. Did you know that you can put in three hashtags into your description? Now, when you add these hashtags, and you can, you can put in three, when you go onto the mobile app, you'll see that they are clickable. And when you click on them, it's gonna take you to other videos that also are using that hashtag so people can look at more content that relates to that topic. As you can see though, this is super underutilized as not many creators know that they can do this. So you have a good chance of a lot of your videos showing up. My model with my clients is we do everything possible to optimize. So might as well use this feature and help boost it up even a little bit. The fourth YouTube shorts hack to grow faster has got me real excited. And that is using the green screen feature to create reaction videos. Ooh, let me show you what I mean. Here you can see an example of a guy doing a reaction green screen video. To do this, you'll go to your shorts and see that green screen on the bottom. You'll click that and click green screen. And then I can decide how much of this video I want to do a green screen of. It's 11.4 seconds. I'll do the whole thing. And then you can click if you want sound on or not, and you'll hit next. And then you can see I can change it to 60 or 15 seconds, but obviously this video is only 11 seconds. And then I can pinch myself and move myself around of where I want to be for the reaction. Then I can hit record and I can even talk over it, but make sure you're using headphones so it doesn't echo. Hit next and then you're able to upload your short. Now if doing reaction videos and the green screen feature overwhelms you a little bit, 
don't worry make sure you grab my go viral video guidebook and that's gonna allow you to learn some of the basics of creating really quality video I've linked it up above and down below how many times have I said that this video I'm so sorry my fifth YouTube short hack that you may not know to help you level up is adding captions to your shorts and repurposing how do those go together? Well, YouTube shorts with captions can help in your retention time. So I recommend adding captions to talking head videos like this, where you're talking to the camera and sharing tips, but YouTube shorts doesn't have an option where you can automatically add in captions. You probably know that Instagram reels though does have that feature. So what many creators are doing is they're going into Instagram reels, they're adding the captions and then they're saving that video onto their phone and then using it for YouTube shorts. But I honestly recommend just filming all of your videos just on your phone, not within a social media app. And then you can add captions through an app that I love called captions. And with that app, you can add emojis and you can customize things a lot. I will link below my tutorial of how I use captions, but this way you can create one video. I actually edit it within InShot. And then after that's all finished, then I go into captions and I add the captions as the last thing that I do. And then from there, you have a video that you can easily post on shorts, TikTok, and reels. Again, we want to work smarter, not harder here. Now, if you are interested in getting a behind the scenes of how I actually create my shorts, filming, editing, adding the captions. I'm going to be doing a full tutorial on that. So be sure you're subscribed so you get notified when that comes out. Now the sixth YouTube short hack that you need to know is that you can schedule out your shorts. Yes. So let's say you already have a bunch of content created that you're repurposing. You can just pick the date and time those videos go out again. So we work smarter, not harder. This for me, honestly, makes content creation just so much easier, especially planning out content for my clients. I can just schedule out when it's going to come out and then bada bing, bada boom. I spend one day of the week doing it and don't have to come back to it every single day. In order to schedule out your YouTube shorts, you'll head to your YouTube studio and click on your content. Then click where you see the eyeball and change it from unlisted to schedule and you can pick the date and the time. Now, YouTube says that it doesn't actually matter when videos go live in terms of how many views it gets, but I recommend going into your analytics and see when your audience is most active on YouTube. Now, I love using the plugin TubeBuddy. It's what me and all my clients use to be able to create our titles and all these things. I've added a discounted link to TubeBuddy for you. But anyway, if you go into your analytics, TubeBuddy will actually recommend a time for you to put out your videos that's the most strategic and if you don't have TubeBuddy what I most recommend is seeing when your followers are most active and then posting about an hour before that that way when they get onto YouTube your videos there for them and usually I found Monday through Thursday mornings are the best times to post the seventh YouTube short hack that you need to know is emojis in titles and doing my YouTube shorts research I have found that shorts with emojis can increase your click-through rate and allow you to get more views on your video YouTube shorts titles that do really well are ones that create a sense of sort of like FOMO, that fear of missing out. You want to get people intrigued. How can you intrigue people in a title? For me, I like to use the exploding head emoji because it's like, oh my gosh, you can't believe this amazing tip that I have. PSA, YouTube shorts do rank in the YouTube search engine and actually are ranking now on Google as well. So make sure along with your emoji, your titles include long tail keywords that your ideal viewer would actually be typing in in order to find that short. Now, now that strategy really applies to YouTube shorts that are answering the common questions of your target audience. But let's say you have a YouTube short that's more just entertaining, then you're going to want to create a title that's more like curiosity and FOMO building. So for example, you may be doing a reaction video of a viral TikTok product. The title could be, oh my gosh, I bought this. TikTok product everyone is talking about exploding head emoji. Again, it creates curiosity of like, ooh, I wonder what the product is and I wonder, is it worth it? A little bit of foam on your title never hurts. My eighth YouTube short hack that you didn't know existed is going to help you grow your channel a lot faster and that is reading your YouTube shorts analytics for individual videos. In order to read analytics, you will head to your desktop, go to your YouTube studio and click on analytics. Now from there, you can scroll down and see your different videos, click on an individual YouTube short that you've posted. From there, you can see some key moments for audience retention, but really what I'm most interested in is the reach of my video. The reach is going to tell me where people have found this short. So you can see 90% have found it on the shorts feed, but actually 6% have also found it on YouTube search. So that's really cool to see. If I scroll down, what's also really cool is you can see YouTube search terms. So these are terms people typed in that then were able to find your short. 
So if you have one that's done really well, you should probably make some more shorts using these terms. This allows you to create bingeable content that's gonna keep people on your channel for longer. So for example, let's say you have a top yoga poses for digestion video that's done really well. And yoga digestion was a term that you saw in your analytics. You could create another video that is yoga for digestion part two. That way people know they can go to your shorts and find more videos on this topic. And hey, if it does really well, Create a th part three, four, five, six, seven. I've seen videos where part three of a series goes way viral and that's all gonna help bring more views and more subscribers to your channel. Now a nice little tip if you do a series of bingeable content, you can always link the other videos of that series in the description of the video or even in the comments. Now going along with analytics, the ninth YouTube Shorts hack that you should definitely be doing is analyzing your overall analytics for your shorts. Now go into your YouTube studio and hit analytics and you're going to click content. This feature I'm absolutely loving. Now you may be able to see all. I want you to click on shorts specifically and it's going to give you your channel analytics just for your shorts. And what's so cool is you'll be able to see how viewers find your shorts overall. And from the shorts feed, that's about 60% for me, but I love this. This is what I want to see. 27% come from YouTube search. That's incredible. So I really want my shorts to stay in this search engine. So that's really important for me. Then you can look at your top shorts and I want you to see what's working and what's not working. So I can click and see more. And my goal is really to find themes here. Are there types of content that people like better than others? So you can see my top two videos are about YouTube shorts. So it means I definitely need to be creating more content on YouTube shorts. There's other ones here again about more of on YouTube. So my shorts talking about YouTube are doing quite well. Also my morning vlog. So I should probably make another one of those and give it a go. You can also look at your impressions click through rate. That's when somebody sees the title and the image of it, how often they click. So also we can learn from that higher percentage and see maybe what's working in this title and how you can replicate that in other videos. So it's really important to see what's working and what's not working here. I like to look at my analytics usually for the last 28 days, but you can always look at the last 90 or even the last year or even create a custom. Now the 10th YouTube short tag that you need to know has got me real excited because I've been doing it for all my recent videos and that is using YouTube's audio library as background music for your talking head videos like this, right? Talking head videos are just videos where you're like talking to the camera, sharing tips, not trending videos. I always like some background music in my shorts because I think it like adds a little layer of intrigue to it. If it's serious, I can add some serious music. If it's upbeat, I can add some upbeat music. But as you probably know, you can't use copyrighted music for more than 15 seconds without getting a copyright claim on your YouTube shorts. So just go into YouTube's audio library, save some songs from there and use them as a background music. Like I said, I create most all of my YouTube shorts in InShot. So for me, I go into my YouTube audio library in your YouTube studio. I download that song and then I share it to my iPhone. And then when it shares to my iPhone, it'll actually give me the option to directly save it into InShot. It's amazing. And then when I go and create my video, I can just go to imported songs and add that sound as a background sound. Now again, I'm going more into detail on this in an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. Now you are ready to go forth with these 10 YouTube Shorts hacks to optimize and scale your channel faster. Be sure to let me know what YouTube hack surprised you the most. And if this video was helpful for you, it's so helpful for me if you give a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. And while you wait for next week's video, check out these other helpful videos. And I'll see you next time. Manny, Manny, he's not very social today. That's a nice friend. Oh, you're so nice and cute.